Hi dancers. Today we're going to talk about ways to jump in ballet. Did you know that there are five different ways that we can jump in ballet? Um, let me get my board here so you can see. I know. Very official. Five ways that we can jump in ballet. Easiest one. Two feet to two feet. I bet you can all hop up and down really, really well. I bet you're just jumping off the walls and jumping on your bed like crazy. So two feet to two feet. Easy. The next one is from one foot to two feet. Try that. Stand on one foot and jump, land on two feet. That's a way to jump. Good. We can also go two feet to one foot. So stand on two feet, jump, land on one foot. All right. Now it gets a little bit trickier with this next two. There's two different kinds of one foot to one foot. The first one is one foot to the same foot. So stand on one foot and hop up and down. That's a way to jump. The other one to one is one foot to the other foot. So I stand on one leg and then I switch legs. Okay, yes. Kind of like a little pony step. So those are our five ways to jump. So what I'd like to do now is if you have a space that you can use like as a bar to hold on to or some place that's easy to jump without bumping into anything, find that space and let's do a few jump combinations. These combinations are usually called petite allegro combinations just because a lot of times our jumps, the little jumps that we do in ballet, are very fast. So they're small and they're quick, okay? So we're going to do just a couple jumps. So we're gonna start at the bar. And let's do, starting in first position, we're gonna do jumps from two feet to two feet. And these are called sautés in ballet. So you should all know these. We'll do four sautés in first position. Then we're going to jump to second position and do four sautés there. And then, using our fifth position, we're going to do changements. Okay? So that's when we change our fifth in the air. We're still jumping off of two feet and landing on two feet. But our fifth will change. So we'll do four in each position there. Are you ready, dancers? I think I am. Ready? First position. Jump and land. Two, land. Three, four. Now second position. Jump, land, and set. Two, land, and set. Three, four. Jump to fifth. Change your fifth. And three, four. Do it four more. Straight up and coming back down. 
Okay, so find your fifth position again. Good. Right foot's in the front. I pick up the back foot and I'm going to plie. I strike the floor out. I'm going to jump and land on my spot. Jump, change feet. Good. Then we can go to the other side. Strike the floor. Jump, change feet. Jete. Jete. Good. The next new step for some of you, and this one will travel us to the side, or to the side, is jumping from one foot again to the other foot. It's called a padasha, which translates to step of the cat. Okay? I don't know if I've ever seen a cat do this, but that's what it's called. Let me move my spot out of the way. So I'm going to go back with my... That's me. Let's go this way. Okay? We're going to start with the back leg. So I'm starting in fifth position. And I want... Nope. I lied. I want to go here. Right there. Fifth position. And I'm going to lift up the back leg into a passe position. So in the air, I'll actually go passe, jump, passe, land, land. Back into that fifth. So uh, up, down, down. Two passes. And we want to make sure that those knees are opening up to the side so that we don't get that. Okay? So back to your fifth position. You can start on either foot, doesn't matter. But it comes from the back foot, is the way we're going to do it today. Start with the plie and padasha. Good. Padasha. Change your fifth around. And let's padasha back the other way. Plie. Padasha. Padasha. Good. Okay. Like I said, this is probably a review for some dancers. This are new steps for others. That's okay. We all need a refresher from time to time. And it's fun to learn new steps. So, our next combination, we're going to start with those jetés, jumping along from one foot to the other foot. We're going to do, let's do four of those, kind of slow at first. And then we're going to do pas de chat, pas de chat. And then we're going to do four jetés again. And we should be able to pas de chat the other direction, okay? Make sure we get one and two and three, four, pas de chat, pas de chat. Okay, there's one other thing we're going to do is we are going to turn the change your fifth, very quickly after that second pas de chat. So we do four jetés, two pas de chats, and a quick change. That way we can start with our back foot. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Je te, je te, three, four, pas de chat, stay there, pas de chat, good, change your fifth, let's go the other direction, je te, je te, je te, je te, pas de chat, good, one more, Pas de chat. Change your fifth. And je te, je te, je te, je te. Pas de chat. Good. One more. Pas de chat. Change your fifth. And je te, je te. Three, four. Pas de chat. One more. Change your fist. Good. Shake out those legs. Good. Okay. Now, if this is a review for your brain dancers, talking to you advanced dancers, and some of you intermediates that might remember these steps, we're going to add just a little bit more challenge to it, okay? So, we're going to do, instead of four jetés, we're going to do eight. Okay, so it's 
twice as fast. Jete, 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 jete. Five and six and seven, eight. Pas de chat. And guess what? We're gonna add in there a jump from two feet to two feet after the pas de chat. It's called an entrechicot. It looks similar to a changement. But what happens is you jump up in the air, your feet do a little beat in the air, and then they land back where they came from. So it looks like this, beat change, okay? So this time, eight jetés, twice as fast, one pas de chat, entre chicot, one pas de chat, and then a changement, okay? my breath here. All right, eight, one pas de chat, entre chicot, one pas de chat, changement. Okay, now if this is too much of a challenge, that's okay. Do what we did before with just four and then two. That's okay. Go twice as slow. Really think about jumping from one foot to the other foot. All right, so if you're ready for an extra challenge or just want to give it a try, here we go. Ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pas de chat. Un chicot. Pas de chat. Changement. Jeté, jeté. Three, four, five, six. Good. Good. Okay. So moving right along, the next jump that I want to talk about is our one foot to the same foot. And this one you're going to need a little bit more space. So we're going to travel across the floor doing arabesque saute, step passe saute, okay? So you just start on the side of your room or on, you know, by the fence in your yard, wherever you have space. You step on your leg. See, I'm standing on one leg. This leg is in the air. It's not going to help me jump. I'm on one leg. Ever saute, step on the other leg, bring your foot into passe, and saute. Okay, so it's a fancy way of skipping. Skip and skip and skip in a way. But we're using arabesque and passe saute. All right? to use 
my stepping stone again, just to kind of give me something to work towards. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. Okay, so this next step is called an assemble. If you were, if I were to write it out, it would look like the word assemble with a fancy E and an accent at the end. Okay, so assemble. I'm going to step out, brush my leg. This is the leg I jump off of. My feet come together, they squeeze together in the air, and I land in my fifth position. So, step, jump, land together. Do that again. So I'm reaching for that stepping stone. I'm reaching to land on that stepping stone. Step, assembly, land on the spot. Good, let's do two more on that side. Ready, step, assembly. One more. Step, assembly. Good, let's try the other side. So I'm gonna step on this leg, brush out, jump, squeeze my legs together, and then land. Okay? A lot of these different jumps, it just takes practice till it clicks. And being able to see other people do it, it really helps too, because dancers are usually pretty good visual learners. So, just keep watching and just keep trying, okay? So step, brush up, together. Ready? Try to get those feet together in the air before they land, okay? That's the hardest part. Step, feet together, and then land. Yes. Here's the wrong way. This is what we don't want to see is this big jump, and then at the last second, bringing the feet together. It's just not very cute. It looks really muddy, it looks very heavy in the jump. So, feet together, land. One more. Feet together, and land. Good. Okay, now here's the favorite one. It's called a C zone, which means to scissor. So, think about when you've got those scissors in your hand and you open them up really wide, really fast, because you're excited to cut the paper. That's the visual you have is that. That opening of the alligator's mouth, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my spot. I'm in my fifth position. I'm gonna do this to the side first, just so you can see. Most of the time it's done on the diagonal so that you see the split line, but I'll go side to side first. So I'm in fifth position, plie. I'm gonna jump off both feet and land on just one, and it's the front leg that I will land on, okay? So I am moving off of my stepping stone. Let's see, I'll leave my arms here. Plie, C zone. I land off to the side. Do that again. Plie, C zone. Good. Two more, and then we'll do the other side. Plie, C zone. One more. Plie, Seize up. Good. So this lands in an open position. Okay. Let's try the other leg in the front. So now we're traveling this way. This leg lands. This leg stays out extended. Plie. Seize up. Good. Now the stronger you are, the more powerful you can make that jump. You know when you look through a magazine or you see online, all these big jumps in the air, they're usually coming out of that two feet to one foot, that C zone jump to get those awesome pictures. So practice this and you can take awesome pictures too. Ready, plie, C zone, good. Let's do that two more times. Plie, C zone, last one, plie, C zone. Good. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is turn it from the side to a diagonal line. So I'll have one leg out in front, one leg out in back. Going for my split. I'm going to move my jump out of the way. Stepping stone out of the way. One less thing to trip over. So instead of landing here, I will land here. Okay? Still jumping off at two feet, landing on one. 
Ready? Let's leave our arms in first, and then as we jump, they show us the direction. Okay? Leading with that front leg. Plie. Season. Good. Do that again. Plie. Season. Good. Let's do the other side. See if I can jump out of the out of the frame. <laughs> Doubt it. Here we go. Plie. Season. Good. I'm telling you, good. Ready? Plie. Season. Because I know you guys are so much stronger than I am. You should be flying across the room. Okay? I wish that there was a sixth way to jump. There's only five. But I wish if there was a number six, it would be jump off both feet and then never land. That would be the best kind of jump. That's flying. Right? One more, and then we're gonna combine some things together. Plie, season. Good. Okay, so now I want to take that assemble from one foot, landing on two, into our C zone. Because that assemble helps that C zone have a little bit more punch to it. Okay? You know those race cars? that you pull back and they wind up and then you let them go and they shoot off. That's your awesome, they wind it up and shoot it out. Okay, so awesome, play, seize up. Let me put my spot back out there. So, prepare here. I'm gonna step on that spot, land and seize up on my diagonal. Ready, step, awesome, play, seize up. Good. Again, it's one of those things that's just going to take some practice to get the coordination behind it. That's okay. It will come. Ready? Step. Awesome. Leg. Seize. Good. Let's do one more on that side, and then we'll try the other way. Ready? Step. Awesome. Leg. Seize. All right. Other side. And we go. Awesome, let's tease them. Good. Let's do two more. Ready? Step. Awesome, let's tease them. All right, last one. Make it the best one. Here we go. Step. Awesome, let's tease them. Good. Woo. All right, so. Dancers. Those are the five ways. One more time. Let's say them. Jump from two feet to two feet. Jump from one foot to two. From two to one. From one to the same foot. And the last one, from one foot to the other foot. I think I'm out of them all. Okay, so keep practicing. Now would be a good time if you want to do some more Grand Allegro across the floor. Um, advanced dancers, if you remember zigzag, you know that combination. Add in that awesome play season at the end for fun, okay? So keep practicing. If you have any questions or wanna learn some more jump techniques, let me know. I have tons of them that I can give you, so this is just the start. All right, well, until the next video, I'll miss ya. I'll see you later, bye.